Hey guys, it's May May and Vinny's trusty sidekick. Shannon. Is that how that works? Like <laughs> yeah. that with the new intro on Thursday night, it's always, hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick Vinny. And he goes, and my trusty sidekick. So there we go. Have we figured it out? Welcome to Craft O'Clock. Seven minutes late. Things happen. It's technology. Um, today, we're going to do something, okay? Every time I show one of these folio packs, the question we get is, how do they go together and what do they look like? And on Friday, we showed them because they went on sale and a lot of you guys bought them, by the way. There's some available though. I checked today. I wasn't going to do this to you if they weren't available, but they are available. But we showed the one Shannon's working on to turn into a class. Um, you'll see that class coming out real soon. But I asked Shannon if she'd be willing to assemble it today to show you what it looks like and how it goes together. Because I think the confusion... Well, I think it's a couple things. One, this guy can be a standalone folio all by itself, but the way 49 and Market makes their product, it can also be glued into their, um, they're not albums. What are they? There's a name for them. Oh, yeah. Uh, the envelopes. <laughs> She's going to look up the names. They can also be glued into their other little like booklet pieces like I did for the Downton Abbey album, okay? So it confuses folks because you, you think these only go with that, but they don't. So I thought we'd take the time and show y'all, and I'm going to let Shannon show you because she's done this one. I have not put this one together, but I think it'd be neat for you to see it. We're not going to decorate it. Memory keeper. They're memory keeper, and they're really cool. They have more memory keepers coming in different shapes and stuff like that. Um, I may even run go get one and let y'all see what I'm talking about after Shannon gets this put together. I may have one in here. I can look, but we're going to let Shannon come over. So we're going to switch places and she's going to come and put this together for you guys. And I haven't put one of these. Have I put this one together? No, I don't think I've put this one together. Shannon just broke her microphone. So you may not hear her. You may just, you may just look. Here I am. You may just hear Let's me. try this again. <laughs> Y'all, it's one of those days. Oh my goodness. We actually had a pretty good morning. Yeah. It was after lunch that got us. Uh, it was coming back from lunch. Eating. Eating, <laughs> eating food. Eating food is that always gets us eating food. All right, so I'm in the driver's seat. No, I'm not. I'm in the rider no, seat today. Seat. I'm in the rider seat. You're in a driver. Let's try this again. This one doesn't have an arm to catch a microphone cord. Somebody said, I love 49 and Market. I can't get enough. Debbie said that. I agree. Yes. Wait till y'all see what's coming, y'all. We had a lot of fun. We Shannon and I were like really happy. You'll see. It's coming. Hot and humid Northeast Florida. Hot and humid here too. Yes, hot. This one does come with a four pack of magnets, or two sets of magnets, four, four pieces. So I'm gonna just take those off so I don't lose them. Hey, Dwayne and Jet. Look at Dwayne with his actual name up here now. All right. Get all these pieces out. Oh, thank you so much, Place of Grace. You're so sweet. Oh, I should, somebody said, where's Vinny? He's just not in here. We, because Shannon was doing this and I was going to be here. We kicked him out. He'll probably come in at some point, um, but he's just not in here. Nothing wrong. He's just in, I said, you can have the day off if you want. And he's like, okay. So he's doing something else. All right. <laughs> this is the main base of this folio. And when it comes to you, um, it's just scored on one of, or, it's folded on one of the lines. We're going to have to go back and crease all of the lines, but it comes with this piece, which is the main spot. They give you a template for um, covering the front of the envelope. Oh, that's cool because they don't always do that. Yes. This one gives you the template. So you'll have the, I think, quarter inch border all the way around. Um, they give you... <coughs> This is another part. I guess I should have brought mine in here that I had. Shannon, this check your mic. They're saying they don't think it's working. If it's not, I'll give you vents. It is on. Unless it broke. Switch, just in case. Here, use vents. And we can check it afterwards. I just don't have the yeah. earphone situation. I understand. How about now? Can you hear me? Shannon is also a very soft talker. So. Can you hear me now? If I have to turn her up from the main, I can. Cold and rainy in New Zealand. It's not cold here. Okay. They, um, this is one of the envelope, or part of the envelope pockets. 
They give you two side pockets or angled pockets. And then this is the rest of the page and one of the last um, pockets. This all stacks together to give you a layered pocket. But I'll show you all that as we assemble. First, I'm just gonna go through and crease everything. I think you might have killed your microphone because now you're fine. It. It's all right. Um, it won't be dead. We can fix it. Nope. Yes, I can do vinyl, Dwayne. Can no. you spell my name right? <laughs> Look, it's no, it's not Damn. two double, it's not two capital M's. And I can say that to you because you're my cousin, but I got to tell you something. I said it to my mother. You'll love this, Wayne, because you know my mom. Mom would never spell my name right. She always spelled it capital M-A-Y, capital M-A-Y, but it's one word. Anyway, um, she said, it's not your real name. I'll spell it the way I want. And so that's the way we live life. That's the way we lived it. That's you know I love you. What vinyl do you want me to do? Tell me that. My envelope folio did not come with all of the pockets. We should clarify, this is this envelope folio. There are different ones. There are different ones. So you might have picked up a different one. This one in particular, what make, what's the name that makes this one different? This one is, and these are the new envelope envelope pocket folios. Older envelope pocket folios might not have been this way, but this one does come with all of these pieces and I'm going to assemble it like this, but you can assemble it any which way. Um, but it's supposed to come with 11 die cut pieces and then I didn't point out that it came with um, the um, strips to hook everything in. I ran Dwayne off, he's mad at me. Or he's typing a big long comeback, which is probably more accurate. He's probably typing May, May, I'm May, probably gonna May, get it on my phone. May, May. Yeah, he, I'm probably gonna get on my phone something that he has to say to me. <laughs> Couple questions. Couple questions. One is um Well, there were questions. <laughs> you ran them Yes. Off. Big M little M. Big M little M. Yeah, my How'd you get the nickname May May? Thomas couldn't say Aunt Amy, and it came out May May. My real name is Amy, and I'm telling y'all the truth. No one calls me that. I know that, like, I don't even go by it anymore. I even sign things May May now. It's just so much easier. Vince calls you Amy every once in a while. Every now and then. Mostly he calls me baby when we're talking to each other. Hey, I was talking to you. That's what he said. Did he? Yeah, yeah hey. And then this, when you get all of it scored, is pretty much what... It looks like. Wayne says he thinks he likes it better with double M's and he'll make his own adjustments. Taylor gives me a love space. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. Listen, y'all love accident. this story. Taylor. No, she said it was an accident. Taylor wrote it two words. She wrote it two words, May and May, with a space in the middle. And I walked up. It was on her desk somewhere. And I was like, seriously, you can't spell my name right? And she was like, hey, listen. She like literally, she went, hey, listen, it's a love space. I said, okay. <laughs> Didn't I do one of these a while back? I have not done this one. I did the one that in the middle is, I think it just opens out. There's lots of There's versions. so many different ones. This one in particular, you guys, every time we show it, you're like, show us how it goes together. This one has three pockets, which is really cool. There's the question, Joy of Life paper. I think it's coming back. Wait, it might be back. I think it might be back. Timothy, let us know because we got a, a Mente order in yesterday. Oh, welcome in Place of Grace for the new live show. I mean, not new live show. It's new to you. She hasn't ever watched a live show. Y'all forgive me for this. I'm not good at this. I don't do this. How are you doing over there? I'm just scoring. You're not gluing yet. Not gluing okay, yet. Okay, so she's I'm just folding, folding, creasing. Folding, creasing, score. Or not, yeah, I'm not scoring. I'm not going to talk creasing. over her when she's giving you directions or anything. There's a lot of um, pre-scored that you just have to fold and crease. Here's the thing. Y'all call me what you want. Spell it how you want, although it hurts my feelings. Spell it like you want. As long as you call me for dinner. That's it. Call me for dinner. Not right now, though. I'm stuffed from lunch. <laughs> I had crazy chicken and it was good. All right, we got. 
Oh, names of endearment. That's so sweet. It is true. Desmond, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, Amber says Joy of Life is in. So if you were looking for it, grab it. Because here's what we discovered. Tell me when you need to start giving instructions, okay? We discovered a way to look and see how many of you guys are waiting on a product by using the wish list or using, it's not wish list. What do they use? Notif Not notify, notify me. me. Notify me. And also, we've also found a way to go back and see how much of that product has sold. So we can kind of tell who, if you're wanting more of it or not by, by how much you liked it in the beginning. So if you want it, go get it. Cause the next time it comes in, it may be a smaller amount that comes in. What I miss, what I miss. What'd y'all do for lunch? So Shannon had our normal. Three amigos with my daddy. She had three amigos. And Vince and I, Vince had to go downtown for something. So we ate at a place called Jack's Dinner Bell, which is delicious. But it's one of those meat and threes. And it's always too much. And I didn't even eat it all. I ate like, I had hamburger steak. Oh. And I had, listen, let me tell you how I am. I said, I didn't have my glasses with me because I had my sunglasses. And I didn't want to have, I had my prescription sunglasses. And I didn't want to be rude wearing my glasses inside. So I couldn't see the board, and I said, it said cream something, but it didn't say cream taters. It said cream corn. And you know I'm going to ask for cream taters because I'm a tater fan. I said, did those cream taters? She said, no, but Sherry had a catering order this morning, and I know that she made some mashed potatoes, and I think she has some on the side. How I said, you have hamburger steak and not have mashed potatoes? I wanted mashed potatoes. She got them for me. Although I would have got cream corn because I love she the got, cream corn. Uh, they had fried green tomatoes on the, table, on the list. I would have got fried green tomatoes. I had yeah. cream corn. I had one fried green tomato. I didn't have the cornbread, but it was still good. Okay, let me look back. Hello from SWFL. Is that Southwest Florida? It is to me. All right. I have folded and scored all the lines. So I... <laughs> it's true. Yeah. Wayne said, you call me D. Wayne. I ought to be able to say it. he can. You're right. I ought to be able to say May May. There you go. D. Wayne and May May. So if you order one of these, you're going to get this weird piece. This two fold in and glue there and these other two fold back. And then it sticks to the front of this weird piece. Two fold back, one fold up and this sticks on here. But this piece doesn't have a bottom, so we have to glue this. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at Miss Joan. I, I don't care if you laugh at me. We have to glue this on so that when you use this back pocket, nothing falls out. So it'll make sense. But Dwayne, if you look at your name, it's spelled Dwayne. <laughs> Okay, another question. Can we recommend a good vintage paper pack? Listen, if you're into vintage Christmas, it may be gone. Maybe I shouldn't I, even brag about it. it, it it's the one that much. Brenda has been using to make her tags for tagging around the Christmas tree. Oh my goodness, that's a cute paper pack. Don't mm -hmm. even remember the name of it. It's probably vintage Christmas. Um, vintage otherwise, I mean, if you're a vintage fan, you need to pick up the Mente book. Is it vintage floral? Um, maybe. That's a great, it's not, it's a six by, six by, it's not a six by eight. Maybe it is. Six by eight. Is it? The Mente books? They're six by eight. It's real good. Um, I noticed with these strips, they're too long. So, if yours is too long, just don't cut the right one, cut the wrong one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, you are so off. funny. What's, what's hamburger steak? What's hamburger steak? A uh, hamburger patty that you don't put on a bun. You put either gravy on it. Sometimes they just do sauteed onions on top of it. And if we really want to get you messed up if you're not from the South, a hot hamburger. But you wouldn't be able to eat a whole one. You'd have to have a half. You get half a hot hamburger. <laughs> and a hot hamburger is bottom hamburger bun hamburger patty, add cheese, they put a slice of cheese on top of it, and they put gravy. Then you can get that with onions, and I think some get it with mushrooms. Mm -hmm. But there's no top button. Cheese. I did cheese. Mm. Cheese. 
I'll so. um, I'm going to be a great grandma for the first time in February, and I'm looking for a generic baby paper. Any suggestion? Uh, is it a boy or a girl? Generic. She doesn't know. Well, I say wait until you find out. <laughs> I, I buy both of the, um, well, both you still of those could. are very, very gender. These new, it's a baby, it's a boy and it's a girl it's paper a from Echo Park is absolutely gorgeous. They're beautiful. How many photos does this album hold? Well, let's see. You could do a whatchamacallit or a doohickey, whatever you want to call that. Doohickey. Thing. Doohickey here and a doohickey here. You could do a doohickey in that pocket and a doohickey in that pocket and a doohickey in that pocket. Then this flips open. So you technically could put a picture here and a picture on the back and a picture here. And if you're putting this inside something, then you could put pictures on the other sides. Lots of pictures. I may have to block Dwayne. <laughs> Everybody's going to know. Yeah. I'm not telling y'all because it was embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I'll tell y'all at the end. I will tell y'all so y'all can see how mean Dwayne was to me. I'll tell you at the end, not now. Y'all remind me and I'll tell you the Dwayne story. And, I'll, and the funny thing is I get to tell it my way, Dwayne. Um, other question. May -may, I'll be doing a craft class for my church friends. 20 people. Do you have any recommendations? All brand new to paper crafts. Yes. Mystery cards. Can't mess it up. Nope. If I, Because you said they're all brand new to paper crafts, that's the one I would do. If they weren't brand new to paper crafts, I would do the first folio. Because people love to feel like they made a scrapbook or like, especially because it's so easy to fill them up. But honestly, mystery cards. Plus for you, it'll save you on, on um, supplies. You just need to pick up a couple of like mente packs or something like that and get you some of those pretty floral papers and get you a good stamp set like Much Obliged, something like that so they can make like thank you cards or something. That's the way I would do it with a new, with a new group. Question was, does this folio come in other colors? At this time, it is only in white. And there's your first pocket. And if you don't glue this down, it just gets it to where you can make sure this bottom seals up good. And then you can go on and glue your front little flap up. Can you review a thermal printer sometime? What, um, what do you want to do with your thermal printer? And then I'll let you know. What do you want to do with it? Um, Carrie says, this video is such a ray of sunshine in a ver on a very gray day. Thank you, my man, oh. Shannon. You're welcome. I see all your food stuff, but I'm not going to talk about food anymore because a lot of times people go, I don't to talk about food. It's just an easy topic. We're all into it. I like food. I don't know many people who aren't, who don't eat. <laughs> Oh, what was I going to tell y'all about while she's over there gluing? Just a gluing. So Have you signed up for our emails? Please be sure you do. It's very important. Now I've done one and two. And then this one already has the three flaps. So all you have to do is glue it on top of the last page. I might could do that, Paula. I'm not a maker of stickers. See, I'm one of those people. I know this gets, I know this annoys a lot of folks. I'm not somebody who reinvents the wheel. Like, I love the stickers I get with my paper packs, and I don't make my own stickers. You know what I'm saying? I don't make my own ephemera. A lot of people go, why don't you make your own ephemera? Because I like what I get. I, I'm, I'm very different like that, and, it, and, it, and I'm not everybody's cup of tea. I'm not. My style's not. You do you, boo. Not that she's saying, not that she was saying otherwise. I'm just yeah. saying, I understand that that everybody has a way they want to do something. And I, and I get it. <gasps> Yay! Re Rebecca ordered her Peach Jam t-shirt. Were there any left? Do you know before I talk about them? I don't know. I didn't find out quantity they had. Tamitha, can you put the link for the finger blade up? I know we have it. We carry it. 
could you use this as a template and make it out of pattern paper? You could. I, here's the problem with that, okay? Let me say it. How do I say it? Okay, the problem with that is <laughs> it always sounds mean when I say this, but I have to tell you all the truth, okay? The truth of the matter is this design belongs to 49 and Market. You will never see me remake this design. I'll have to make my own design. So me buying this product and copying it and mass producing it is the same as sort of cheating. Yeah. Like I hate to say stealing. I don't want to say that word. So so a lot of times I'll see people go, oh, just copy your paper and reuse it. But that's not that's not how that works. Like someone took the time to design this, manufacture it, design the packaging get it made, get it shipped to them, get it shipped to us, da, da, da. And so it's not always fair. And I'm not, and I'm, and people do it. Like it's, so I'm never, you're never going to hear me say that. Now, I'll tell you all the time, make your own templates. Like the video I have coming out next, I don't know when it's going to come out. That's what we got to talk about that too. I'm all about making your own templates to be able to remake stuff later. But I, I cannot, I will never want to sound like I'm telling you to buy something and recreate it. Does that make sense? Yeah. I want to make sure you understand that I, that I don't, that I would never tell you to do that. What size is this folio? I missed. Ah, uh, I'm trying to go back. I missed which one it was because I'm late. It doesn't have measurements on it, but it. There it is. Six point two five by eight point two five by five. Um, I mean, it's copyright. Like somebody said, is that copyright infringement? Here's the situation. Here's the real situation. And I tell you all this, if you ever take my cricket classes, you'll hear this. It's more when you're remaking it and selling it. But even at that, it, it feels like it the same. Like, because does that make I don't know. I don't know. I just wouldn't do it. I don't know how to say it. I don't ever want anybody to feel bad about that idea. It's not, you're not the first one to have that idea. That, people do that all the time. We, I had a lady one time who told me, this was years ago, that she would buy one pack of paper, found one she likes, then photocopy it and use it for everything. Like photocopy it. And I was like, that's, that's not really, y'all don't, you don't do that. I understand that. Plus, paper companies really make it nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's different. Yep. It's not the same when it's a photocopy. Again, do not feel bad about that idea. Everybody's had that idea. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not unusual. I think the biggest thing is um, give credit. That's the big, yeah. biggest. So we have a pocket, a pocket, and a pocket and a page that flips open. I have to tell you, I don't like saying stuff. I, I have to say it, but I don't like saying it, especially in the cricket class. That's where we really get into it, like not get into it. It's really we talk about it because I think a lot of people think that they can pay for that subscription and then go sell all those images, and it really doesn't work like that. Okay, one moment. I got to go back. There's lots of comments. Are you fixing to give them an instruction? I'm just fixing to glue one of these um, corner pockets in. And it's just going to glue onto this side. Question. I have, I, I can't read. There are two angle chompers in your store, if I'm not mistaken. There is one with just the angle cut and one with the angle cut and something else. Which one is best? The two we have are angle cut and stub and scallop? Maybe. Is that the only corner chompers? Well, and round. We have the corner rounder. There's a rounder, a chomper. No, that's the same thing. Rounder, angler, stub and scallop. Right? I think so. The angle one has two angles. It has a large angle and a small angle. The stub and scallop, one looks like a ticket stub and one looks like a little scalloped edge. And then the rounder just does round. Sorry, and you, you're going to make me tell you, like, she's like, which one is best? I, I'm the worst at picking the best because the problem is the best is the one for what you want to use it for. That I hate that I can never give you like, oh, buy this one. Sometimes I can. 
<laughs> not very often. It's all according to what you want to do with it. They're all the best. Um, I would go the simpler first. I mean, I guess. I don't know. That's right. The f I knew one did. Okay. Carrie said the photo corner one has the angle too. So you get you get the angle on one side and you get that little point up on the other. But di do they still make it? The, which one? the photo corner and angle. I want to say they discontinued it. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Here's what I would do. I would think what you make the most of. If you make more tags, I would get the angle one. Okay, are y'all planning a crafty event for fall? Sort of. Is that what we're going to say? Sort of. Try. Are you going to respond to it? I you saw know. I didn't. I, yeah. We're in talks. <laughs> we're in talks. <laughs> we want to have, we want to have a Christmas craft acropolis. So we're in talks. Um, oh, that's a great question, and I want to do it. We we hope to have one. Yes, I'm going to say that. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Where are we at? I lose them. Listen to this question. Listen to what Amy just asked me. If you were just starting out and could only purchase one, which one would it be? <laughs> I think that's an easy answer for me. What would you say, Shannon? You're just starting out. You could choose one of two. One of the punches? Wait, one, one of, of three or one of two? One We're going to do it punches? two ways. We're going to do it two ways. You can pick one of the three that I talked about, corner, angle, or stub and scallop. Just starting out, you're going to buy one. Which would it be? It would be... One okay. of the three. I'd probably do the corner rounders. That would be my first one. Absolutely, corner, corner rounder. Round. Then my second one? My second would be stub and scallop. My second would be angle, and because, I knew she'd say that. Because to me, an angle, I can always just use a ruler and cut the corners off. I mean, because that's all the angle does is cut your corners. But I love the angle. I mean, I love I, it too, but if I, I mean, they're an investment. So I would do the corner rounder first and then this one and then do that one because you can always measure down the same distance to get angles. And you're absolutely right. It's just, and it's just a preference thing yeah. at this point because she, she's exactly right. See, that's what I say about like dies. I don't like to buy the like frilly specific dies. Honestly, I would buy these before, before I that. Even bought the others because it's hard to make a circle. <laughs> Unless you have a cricket. If you have a cricket, then you can make a circle anytime. If you don't have a cricket, circles are harder. So I would buy circle punch. We cannot tell you yes or no or do this or do that because we all <laughs> so many. I have access to all of it, so it's all pretty It's easy. really hard. Yeah. I'm looking for but, questions. I'm looking for questions. Um, so hey y'all. Uh, that's how you put this thing together. <coughs> Other than the magnets. I have not put the magnets on yet. Should I put magnets on? Crystal, Vince magnets? and I literally, are y'all in our brain? Were you at lunch with us? She said, um, she said, wanted to get a couple of friends together to travel from Arkansas to see y'all. Do you have any in-store events coming up? We were just talking about this. Vince is like, I want you to plan some stuff for the classroom. He wants us to use the classroom. And I understand that. But the problem is the classroom limits so many people because not so many people can come in person, right? And um, I said, maybe our issue is, y'all tell me what y'all think about this. I like your opinions. Maybe our issue is we need to have like seasonal events. You know how at Christmas we have holiday open house, right? Maybe we need to have like spring, summer, fall open house. What do you think? Spring, summer, fall. Okay. And if it's not spring, summer, and fall, maybe it's just like first, er, first quarter, second quarter. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We did. We have talked about Holly Jolly. That that would be the working name, Holly Jollyopolis. You just wanted me to say it, Holly Jollyopolis. <laughs> it's so hard to say. Do y'all want me to put the magnet on, or do y'all have the magnet thing down? And we do want the dates to stay the same. Okay. Ah. 
this is this is the baby. <laughs> You're a funny place of grades. Does this kit come with the magnets? This one does, it does. yes. It comes with two sets. Which I guess you can put a magnet here for the closure. Um, you could magnet this side closed. I wouldn't. If anything else, I would like somehow like maybe place a magnet here if you want it to say square. You could use the other set like there. Oh, I keep the microphone thing. I got a question for you and I'm not answering. I'll make you answer it. <laughs> what? What size circle punches would you invest in first? Uh, two inch, one inch, or one and three quarter. I'm gonna let There's her brain finish working. Punches. She's not done. There's She's a still lot like of circle punches. My first ones, I would invest in two at one time, and it Come would be on. the two inch scallop or regular. Oh yeah. Scallop or regular two inch, and the one and three quarter. If I could only because here's the thing, they work together, yeah. and you'll get a better result if you have them both. However, the two inch circle can also make those really cool aperture cards that have the three circles, and you put some little thing in it. You get a lot. You get so much room from punches. But so much. I know I make clouds, so I would definitely buy a big the scallop. scallop. Um, it is a tongue twister. I was watching your tag video and you recommended the angle chomper. Oh, I just figured it out. It's a We Are Memory Keeper. That is what I'm looking for. Sorry. No worries. We have those too. Um, I have an idea for an in-store. I have an idea for an in-store event. Oh, Lord, Dwayne. I didn't even read that was you. I would have skipped it. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> I, listen, you're not wearing your bathing suit, your bikini in this tour. Look, now they want to know, Dwayne. What, what, what? Um. I know all of them. Y'all all know it. All of them. Here's what I would do. I would make yourself a list of like what you want and like start checking them off. Just like get one when you can afford it. Yep. Check it off. Also, when we have sales, this is, I think this is what happens, what people don't think about. I know we have sales and we'll have new product and all that. And I try to tell y'all when we have a sale, get the stuff that is expensive to ship, something you don't normally can afford, don't normally, can't normally afford, like can't normally, I still don't have it can't right, normal. but you know what I'm saying. Like, if there's a punch you want, and they've all gone up, everything's gone up, do you know how much a tub of whipped cream cheese is? I just want you to guess. $5. $6.79 for an 8-ounce tub of whipped, which is half air. I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Anyway. Um, Aaron. <laughs> um, I think he is. But what I would do is, like, chipboard. I know you... I think you think, I don't know you think, I think you think that like one pack of chipboard does one project, but it doesn't. Ooh. One pack of chipboard goes a long, long way. Last so long when it's 22 to 25% off, if you grab it, it might even get you through the whole holidays. You know it's what I'm like, saying? I mean, if you make a six by six album, one pack of chipboard is going to make, one page will make you two albums. <laughs> a front and a back. <laughs> It yeah, and if you do a, if you just do yeah. a chipboard album, you only need two pieces of chipboard yeah. to make one. So, um. <laughs> do y'all have any more questions about this little buddy? I don't think there's any way we could do an online and in class event at the same time. No. Thirteen ninety nine. Um. Where do you live that your shipping was $31? That's not right. It says shipping options are really broken. Was going to make an order, but $31.97 US dollars for four stamp sets was a bit much. Always know, um, Mamey's told y'all multiple times, if you can afford to make the order, make it. And shipping most of the time is But that doesn't make that. any uh -uh. sense. It, I, can't, I can't think of a single one of ours that would be that much for shipping. I mean, are you in Canada? Yes, never mind. You're in Canada. Mm -hmm. Absolutely right. That's why. That's exactly right. I can't, I can't even touch international rates. It's ridiculous. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, we currently have, so you know how shipping works, okay? You may not know, and you may not care to know, but I'm going to say this just in case. 
when you're a company like we do that we focus mostly on shipping, what we what all companies that do what I do try to do is they line up with these other companies that work it's like a network of companies, okay? The more companies in that network, the better postage rate they get from the post office or from the you know from from however that's done. So what we do is we're lined up with a bigger company to get the best rates we can get. Inside of that company, the more we ship, the better the better they do for us, okay? And as of the meeting we just had was Amber's meeting last two weeks ago. He said, you are literally getting the best price I can possibly give you, okay? He used the word legally. I don't know what that means, but he said, you're getting the best price I can give you. Now, does that mean that international shipping is affordable? Absolutely not. If you want something and you're willing to call in and talk to Amber to order it, she can sometimes streamline and go through different options that we have, but we don't offer those forward facing because it becomes too much for the shipping to handle between this option and that option for international. And we apologize, but I'm gonna tell you something, international shipping has always been so high. Okay. What paper would I use to decorate with? Um, I don't know, there's a lot of pretty papers right now. Um, and these albums fit the 49 and market six by eight paper perfectly. Um, or even, are these six by eight? <laughs> or even Shannon. these. Shannon. Yes? Dwayne talked to Scooter Two Butts. Have you met Scooter Two Butts? No. You don't want to meet him? I don't think so. He said he's planning to come visit Clayton. Uh, you don't, it's, it's I'm going to say it, it's Dwayne's alter ego. <laughs> I think I'm good. I'll say it. Hang on, let me see. You were answering what paper you would use. Um, the new, any of these new 6x8 pads will fit this and give you a little border around the edge, just like the 49 and Market paper. How many, I'm going to start, I'm going to just rapid fire you questions. How many does the classroom hold? The classroom, we can seat 24 in there. Shannon, can you show your finished summer loving folio? It's not finished. Which one was the summer loving? One for your vacation. It's not done. Oh yeah, it's not done. It's not finished. I don't have it in here. All right, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Ma'am, Melissa, I'm maybe, well, I don't know how to, we've negotiated as much as we can. It does Dwayne Craft, that's for you. Probably not. Y'all want to hear the truth? Yeah. Because, first off, he's an incredible, like, DIYer. Even. I'll take it. He's an incredible DIYer. He can build just about anything. Also, he paints cars for a living and has since he was, like, a teenager. Like, that's been what he's done. And he yes. can he can paint a car like nobody's business. He might be sold out. Um, is there a video on how to use the stamp set Ma Ma Mandy's Tulips? There is. Tameth is going to link that for you, probably, if you'll give her just a second. She's got to go look for that one. Um, where did you... Oh. Okay. Is that pretty Christmas paper that I see? Yes, it is. Did y'all did y'all see the after show the other night when we showed the Christmas stuff? If you didn't, it's in here. We can show you. Shannon can show you because... If you didn't get to see it, we can run through it real quick. What we have not cut into. Because a lot we've cut into. Did the chat stop on your end? Because it stopped on my end. Um. No, it just moved again. He said he don't craft, he paints cars. <laughs> when you do craft, because you it's make like all kinds of stuff. Car crafting? We do carry some ephemera packs. We are carrying more than we used to, but not every single one. Like if, if we're, here's what I've decided. And y'all can tell me what you think about this. This is what we've done with ephemera packs. We find that you guys purchase ephemera packs, but not frames and tags packs. Um, if I buy like both of those, the frames and tags sit on the shelf. So we've been buying ephemera packs only. The stuff you're going to see her showing you today that doesn't have ephemera packs is because it's July. And for us to get Christmas stuff, we have to order last year's Christmas stuff. And most of that has lost all of its accoutrement. Or it only has, they only have like three or four on the shelf that they can send us. And that's not enough for us to even 
for, if I made a video with a pack of ephemera and you, there were only three on the shelf, it would do nobody any good and it would cause more emails and questions than anything else. So that's why you don't see a lot right now. Now the stuff that's coming, the new stuff, you'll see more ephemera with it. Um, could we do multiple classes in one day to go along with an open house? When we do open house, we do four projects. We do craft, like you have a little craft time. Y'all would get mad if we had a classes in open house because you wouldn't get to visit with us much. Because like, I mean, we'd have to teach classes. So mad we is, we don't class, mean mad. We just use mad. mad. We just use mad. You wouldn't. You get your feelings hurt. Yeah, you wouldn't get to <laughs> hang out because, I mean, you'd be in a class. Um. Nope, Dwayne is not Lydia's dad. No, Dwayne is Jet's dad. You guys know Jet? You a lot of you guys watched his channel when he had one. He's still he's still too young. There it's it's a problem, but Are you making any Christmas in July cards or only tags? You'll probably see cards. You're going to see my in Chris, Christmas in July you're going to see what we usually do. I I try to cover gifts, cards, um memory stuff, gift card holders. I try to cover a lot of stuff in July. Is there a limit for the card ministry? There's not. Did, did I answer all our questions right there? I'm trying. Woo, y'all so. have questions. What we can do is if you want to, like, talk through something, and I'll just hold questions. Do you have a notebook over there I can, like, make a note? I'm going to give you the smallest piece of paper I can find. All right. Yes, these two paper packs are beautiful. This is Joyful Christmas. I'm going to address it because everybody's asking it. Somebody asked it now. It started it. Those were called stopper toppers, and we do not carry those anymore. Um, the company was going through some changes, going through some some switchovers, et cetera. And we told them once they get settled out, they can contact us and we will be happy to carry them again, but we're not at this time. So hopefully one day that can happen again, but right now I can't. Disappointed. Disappointed. Yeah. Are you just flipping? I, I'm I being quiet flipping. for you. You were talking, so I was just flipping. This is a beautiful paper pack. I didn't look to see if it was sold out. Y'all might be mad if it's sold out and I'm showing it to you. Disappointed. I'm sorry. Y'all might be disappointed. <laughs> they might be mad if we it's just, sold out. We just worked on that. You might be disappointed if this paper pad is sold out. and I'm showing it to you. There are two pages of each. And it is not disappointing. Is it sold out or you? I'll tell you. She's going to check. I'll check. That Christmas tree punch went fast and I didn't even know it. Um, JJ, it just depends on how you're using that circle. If you take that one and turn it into a mystery card, you'd be shocked. You want to cut it in mystery style for them and let them see it? There's one left. There's one left? There's one left. One lucky person can get online and buy this paper. Do what? You want to cut it mystery card style and show her what you get from that wreath paper? I can. From this baby right here. Beautiful. Because we'd use this whole side right here. Yeah, do that one. Do you need a measurement? You need a measurement? Yes. What am I cutting? Four. You're so sweet, Rebecca. You're going to do five four and by five and, and, five and a quarter. quarter. Four by five and a quarter. Okay. And if you want to take it from the middle, you have to edit. You have to do. You have to cut. Okay. So if you're going to take. This, the extra space in the middle out. Let me say this. Okay, what Shannon's going to show you is called mystery card. So she's actually going to flip that over and not look at it. Yeah, I was just seeing how big this if is. If it's 12. It's okay. It's 12 and a half. Because I got to cut that dot off. So I'm going to do this first.
All right. Now, All right, so what I want you to do is from one end, from this far end, bring it in to four inches. Does that make sense? So cut four inches off. Yep. And then leave it there before you lift it up. So a mystery card means we don't know what's happening on the other side. So she's going to take that four inch strip and put it over to the right. Over, I'm sorry, to the left. <laughs> then I want you to take the piece you have left and I want you to flip it around. Dr yes. Okay, I get what and now saying. I want you to do so that at four inches. Is. Okay, that'll still leave you four inches in the middle though. So now you're going to do that same thing, but I want you to do, here's what I want you to do. I want you to do five and a half from one end, I mean five and a quarter from one end, and then five and a quarter from the opposite end, leaving the strip in the middle. You see what I'm saying? show the strip. So this strip, the way she's doing it by cutting five and a quarter from one end, then turning it and doing five and a quarter on the other end, she's taking that strip from the middle. So we're getting rid of some of the middle that's in our problem, that's in our way. Liz, I don't know. That's what our shipping company set. We just go through our shipping company. So whatever they have it set up as is what we do. If you want um, Amber to look into that, you give her, send her an email at info at maymaymadeit.com and maybe she can get an answer from them about it. But I don't, I don't know about that. Chris, let me tell you, Christmas paper doesn't ship until the 17th of July to us, so it'll be a little bit. All You're right. sweet, Dwayne. You got them all cut? I got them all cut. So now I want you to kind of put them back together. Does that make sense? Uh huh. So this is what a mystery card is. She cut everything without looking because we get nervous to cut those big pieces, right? But now watch, watch what she can do. And those little strips are not wasted. They're not wasted. Okay, so there's her little strips. We're going to put those up there. And then she's just going to put these pieces back together like they were a piece of paper. Okay. Your little... These little guys came out of here, here, and here. Yes, you can go edit. But don't stress, Tamitha, because I think we're going to do what I talked about. Okay, so you see how she got that strip out of the middle? Now, listen, it's you would go, well, I'll just cut the strip out of the middle. And that's fine. You can do that. But we discovered this by doing the mystery card thing, so that's why I'm showing you this way. So what happens is you take those six pieces and make cards out of them. You just add them to a card base, add a stamp, add an image, add whatever. Perfect for a sentiment foot right here. And then the little strips become sentiment strips. See, so, or you could do something like yep. this and do a sentiment going across it or cut it down and do it on each one of them. He's a sweetheart. Dwayne said he's proud of me. He's a sweetheart. I'm proud of Aww. him too. He's, he's a fighter and I'm proud of him for that. He don't fight me because I'll win, but he's a fighter. <laughs> it's not true. It's not true. He knows how to beat me, too. Could you do a series of how to make projects showing both sides of double-sided paper? Oh, I've got some cards that do that. We've got um, the corner fold one. I love that because it shows both sides. I want to say we have another one like that. Is cute. Tamitha's asking if she can go edit because she's got a video for tonight, but I want to tell y'all something. I may decide to let you just have a tagging video tonight at 6 o'clock and move this part one to Saturday because I really need it to be, I really need to spend some time on the edit and make sure it's everything I need you to see because I had to film it really badly. But it's a really, really good project. You're and so love it. because we had a day off this week and then we had a big meeting here at the we had a we had a thing happen here at the store. We had some people come visit and we're just kind of behind. And I don't want you to get a halfway done video. Um, so if you don't see a second video tonight, if you only see one video tonight, just know we're moving it to Saturday. The, you know, that's funny. Debbie said the interaction between me and Dwayne is funny. If you ever saw us in person. But the thing, it's, it's hard here because it's me against him and you can't hear his personality. He is hilarious. Hilarious. <clears throat> Y'all need to see this. All right. So did that make sense of a way to use those papers that, that you struggle with? You still have this guy. 
I saw your suggestion on the stamp. By the way, I just want to make sure I told you that. Okay. Y'all, y'all didn't buy this guy. Let's start with the DB. Is that one available? Show yes. them that one. Y'all, this don't know paper what back is so pretty. You don't know what you're missing. So pretty. Both of these are available, but y'all, this paper is gorgeous. I, this this project Tim is about is the one that's coming up, and I'm real, real, real proud of it. Like I, that, I don't have a lot of projects where I'm like, oh gosh, <laughs> this one's a good one, right, Shannon? Yes, a very good one. Like this paper pack. Hopefully, one day we can. Dwayne doesn't live super close; he lives three hours away. And this one is sparkly. This paper pack's beautiful. I love the name of it, Mint and Mistletoe, and it is literally that, Mint and Mistletoe. And it's navy, but it's not like navy. It's like this greeny blue, what is it? I don't know how to describe it. And this one is little leaves in a navy color. Aren't mystery cards so fun? I love them. This is just a lot of words in silver. Lynn, the gallery doesn't work. I know that people think that's how the gallery works, but it's not. If you used any project product from our store, you can link it. The way that software works, people probably think it's me like being rude or whatever. Nope. The way that software works with our store is in order for it to be used with our store, you have to say, I use this glue or these scissors or this trimmer or this paper or this stamp set or this whatever. It requires you to put one thing in that you use. So it doesn't have to be just the paper you used or... It doesn't have to be only things you purchase from me, but I think people think that. And I get it because you do have to pick one product from the store for it to add you to a gallery. And that's why it works because have you ever noticed when you go to a product? Always pick art glitter glue. It's the easiest <laughs> typically, thing. Typically you use art glitter glue. But like <laughs> if you ever go to one of the gallery, what the gallery, what it does, which is really, really cool, is if you upload to the gallery, the reason I want you to upload to the gallery, say you make something using our lemon stamp set and you upload to the gallery a picture of that. Well, because you said I used your lemon stamp set, when you go to the product page of that lemon stamp set, people can get inspired from it. That's what happens, and that's why it has to tie in. I think a lot of people think we do that just, here, okay, here's what I'm going to say. It is our store, and we do want you posting products you use from our store. That only makes sense, right? Like Hobby Lobby doesn't want you posting Michael's stuff on their stuff. You see what I'm saying? That only makes sense. So, yes, I would prefer that you use products from our store on our customer gallery, However, it's not a requirement. It's just you have to pick a product for the gallery to know where to put your photo for people to get inspired. That's just how the thing works. I am scared to do a live with you, Dwayne. There's no telling what would happen. No telling. Who is, du oh, who is Dwayne to me? I would love to tell you this. Dwayne is my cousin, but he's really like a brother. I think he would agree. Dwayne, am I like a sister? Here's why. Um... I'm probably more like a sister because he actually beat me up. His big sisters wouldn't let that happen to me. <laughs> but um, Dwayne and I were born a month apart. May 3rd, me. June 3rd, him. And um, we have been close our whole life. We were, in, when we were younger, we were inseparable. And also, Dwayne's mom and my mom were very, very close. And there was even times we lived in the same house together and stuff, like as I was growing up. So we've just been very close forever. And he's one of those people that I can see and and you know how you have those people you can see and just chat, 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 and then not see them for six months and still get back together and do it again. And he's just very special to me. Very special. And I hope he feels the same. And these last, I think it's four pages, are all perforated. So all you have to do is punch them out. <laughs> Y'all wouldn't mind if we got together for a video. Maybe one day. Oh. Mint and mistletoe. Buy it. Oh. Timotha said, uh, and she said it in caps, so I think she's wanting me to address it. Um, and we don't, and we do not judge the projects for the contest we do. And we do not judge the projects for the contest. We do a random drawing with the number picker app. So let me say that because this isn't, I love when we get to address these things that, that come up every now and then. So when we ask you, to upload okay I don't believe in judging your work I believe your work is beautiful like 
what I would think is beautiful, what Shannon would think is beautiful, what Tamitha would think is beautiful, it's all different, okay? Because art is subjective, right? It's, it goes along with your taste. So I'm never going to judge your work. The fact that you're working makes me happy. The fact that you're making a card makes me happy. The fact that you're posting something makes me happy. So what we do in the back room of that program that runs our um, customer gallery it puts the projects in not really a number order, but in a way we can count it. So what we do every month, what Tamitha does every month, is she puts in um, the random number generator and gets a number, okay? And then she goes and counts till she finds that person's number, and that's who wins. We do not um, judge them. And we actually had somebody call that thought we did, and I understand. It, I mean, it feels like an art contest. It does. And we explained it to them, but that was a valid question they had. They were like, if someone if someone wins, I want to see what y'all chose. That makes sense, right? You would like if we chose a card, you'd want to see what we chose. But we wanted to clarify that we don't go pick a card. All the cards are winners. Just one person is lucky enough to land where they land, right? Joe, I gotta answer Joe real quick. If there's a question you can answer, go for it. Okay. Also, we cannot post projects that are licensed such as Disney, Peanuts, stuff like that. Did Tamitha say that? She did. Boy, Tamitha, Tamitha, just tell us what you need us to say. Yes, this is true. We, like, if you post something that's got, um, you know, Mickey Mouse or stuff like that, we can't post those kinds of things. I don't really know how to address that on the website or whatever, but we can't post licensed images. So a lot of times when you post something and it doesn't go up, that can be why. I don't know that they get a notice for why, do they? Because there's not really a way for you to do that. I don't believe there is a search feature. Wait, I don't know about the new blog. Tamitha would know. Oh. Yeah, not. I'm not going to be a great-grandmother. So, yeah, somebody else was asking. They said they were fixing to be a great-grandmother. That's right. Do you carry solid color 12 by 12 card shot that would be good for 8 by 8 folio? Girl. As a matter of fact. She said other than, other than the felt, felt but I'm going to tell you something. The orange folio I made, the child's, the children's folio, is made from um, PA 65 pound. It's really, really great. Thank you so much. I got to tell you all what happened about shipping. Um, Jasmine's back and she's fine today, but when you work in an office space like we do, and you're living your life, there's times when you can be exposed to people with COVID, right? So it was, when did we get exposed? It was uh, two, two weeks, weeks ago? ago? Two weeks ago. My chair won't move. I guess there's a reason. Um, two weeks ago, this is, <laughs> two weeks ago, Joe went out with, um, he went out with Josh Taylor, a couple friends. Y'all remember Caleb that worked here? He went out with Caleb and his wife, and then it was Joe, right? And he came home, and the funny thing is how this works. He came home, and he walked by us, and we said, you have a good time tonight? He said yes, and he went straight to his room, okay? Typically, that doesn't happen. Typically, we'd make him stay in and talk to us, but we didn't because he went with Josh and Taylor. And they're like, you know, there was nothing really to have. You know how, you know how parents do. Where'd you go? Who'd you see? What'd you, you know, that kind of thing. Well, we didn't do that that night. So he walked in, went behind us, and went to his room. Well, then a couple hours later, a couple hours later we got a phone call that one of them had tested, um, it was actually Caleb, had tested positive for COVID. So Vince is like, what do we do? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm like, were we exposed? Were we not exposed? Like, we saw him tw literally 20 seconds, okay? And he was not anywhere near us. So Joe stayed in his room and he quarantined for four days, Sunday to Thursday. And Taylor stayed home, Josh stayed home, because we weren't sure, right? So, and we stayed back here, like, Everybody stayed up front. They let us in the back door. We worked in the back so we could keep working. That's how we just have to kind of figure it out, right? So anyway, this weekend after the big sale, <laughs> so I told y'all Thomas got a new job, right? He's not working with us right now. He's working uh, somewhere else. So Jenna and Jasmine have been running shipping, and they've done an amazing job. Well, Jasmine got exposed this weekend, so we had to do the same thing. We had to be without Jasmine for four days. She's back. Everything's fine. Um, she never got sick or anything. So, um Monday was it no not Monday Tuesday we're at lunch and Vince gets a phone call and it's Josh and he's like dad do y'all need help and Vince was like what do you mean son he said do y'all need me to come help in shipping 
And Vince is like, uh, yes, hold on, let me let you talk to your mother. And he hands me the phone. And Josh is like, Mom, I'll come help if you need me to help. And he said, Taylor had gone home for lunch and was telling him that we were short Jasmine and blah. And he was like, I'll come help. And we'd already made Joe come work because <laughs> we had to have some help, right? So Josh, Joe, and Jenna, all the J's, Josh, Joe, and Jenna, worked Tuesday, Wednesday. And then today, Josh volunteered to come again today and it's Jasmine and him. So we did. We weren't down any person in shipping. Isn't that great how God works stuff out? We weren't down any person. But, you know, those are new. That's the new things we roll with. Yep. Like we have to figure stuff out. So I, sometimes y'all like that behind the behind the scenes stuff. I don't know. Did you see a question you want to answer? Not yet. There's just a lot to read. There is a lot to read. Oh, yeah, Sharon. She might be right about that. She says that navy is a Payne's gray. And she might be very right about that. Um, do you remember Bob Ross used to use Payne's gray? I used to love that color when he would use it. Yeah, oh, she might be right about that. Okay, Debbie, what you may be seeing is 12 options that when you click on the product, there are variants of that product so like if you see 12 like if you see pa 65 pound if you click on it then you'll get to choose the color inside of that so um that's a, the, yeah just put the link in but you do have to click on it it'll just show you one like um i think it shows orange or green as the main um picture yeah so a lot of people get confused by that because to save Taylor time, instead of building 15 products, she builds one product and there's variants in it. Or choices. All right. Show you real quick if it will come up. Don't show him your password. It's not a password. Don't show him your password. I ain't showing him password. Not a password. If you want to know that, you just ask my son. He'll tell you what the password is. Well, this isn't getting in there quickly. If I told him about Noah saying that to me, that was so funny. It was hilarious. Noah came in after school one day, and he ran to his mama's desk and got her phone and signed up on it. And he went, he said, I know my mama's password. And he spouted it off to me. And he went back to do what he was doing. And I said, Noah, thanks. Now I do too. And he looked up, and he went, don't tell anybody. <laughs> it was so funny. I went too quick. Paper accents, smooth cardstock, 65 pound. If you click on that, it brings up all the different color choices. And these are the projects that Meme was talking about. If you upload your picture in the customer gallery, it will put anything that's been tagged with paper accents below it. Will you show her how you search that? Because she said her search only came up with like 12 things, but Tamith has had three pages. Um, yes. What did you search? I just, for this, did paper accents. Oh, and the And it brings product. up all paper accents products. Part of the problem is, um, in search engines, here's what we find. That 12 by 12 situation, if you don't put it in correctly, choose, it'll mess you up. Choose your color. Yes, um, sometimes, like when I did 12 by 12, the paper accents paper didn't come up as 12 by 12. Um, so, I know it's paper accents. So I just searched for paper accents. Um, I think if you just search cardstock, paper accents will come up. It's usually safer just to be very generic in your search. Yes. Because the more, like it's, I always find yeah. 6 by 6 and 12 by 12. If you don't, like if Taylor, I don't know how Taylor puts it in. So if she puts like 6 space X space 6, yes. but you put in like 6 X 6, it's, it's confusing. Like, if you just search cardstock, it comes up, too. And you can pick them all out. Oh, here we go. Tamitha said, go to the menu bar, hover over the shop tab, then scroll down to paper and cardstock. That's how she did it. Yes. So that's how she gets her links. That's cool. How old is Noah? Menu. Noah is nine. Shop. And come down to, I might have missed it. Nope, paper cardstock. And it is all here. Tim just gave her search secret away. 
but you can do that with anything. If you go shop, there's new products, Christmas in July, 80% off wreath, Fabulous Friday, 49 in Market. Um, Taylor tries to break everything down when she's entering it in the store. So you can click on Shop, May May Stamp Sets, all the Vault Stamps, Mente, Misty Products. I see you, Sharon. Just one second, I'll answer you. I want her to Ta -da. answer. Are you done? I'm done. Sharon I said, I Sharon said, I got to scroll back to it. Hang on, it went on up there. Help me out. How do I figure out what folios to use? I've never done one and need to organize my pictures. Are they as easy as you say? I'm going to tell you this. If you make one, you will be hooked. You just will. I'm hooked. I'll, all I want to make is folios because I'm like you. I want to put my pictures in them. Yes. Um, and these pre-made albums, I just want to do it. I would. Here's what I suggest. Take the pressure off of yourself, okay, and make the first one, the three-page wonder folio, okay? Mm -hmm. Take the pressure off yourself. Don't care if it's perfect when you're done, okay? Don't worry if it's not every single thing you want. Just make it and see if it's as easy as I say it is. And then when you make your second one, your design choices will come so easy because you see where everything lays, all right? I promise you. Everybody here today that has made these folios will tell you, if you make one, it's like eating Lay's potato chips. You cannot stop. You just can't. Does the glitter paper you used on your tag last week have a chemically smell? Which glitter paper? I, I mean, I don't guess it matters because I don't know of any of ours, any of ours that does have a chemical smell. Do you? I don't know. On my tag, did I use glitter? Yes, I used Sizzix glitter on mine. Yours hasn't gone up yet. But that's Sizzix, isn't it? That you use Sizzix glitter? Did I use glitter? Your glitter, yeah, green. I did. I don't think it did. You want to smell it? It's right there. Okay. Don't put it in the camera. It's a secret. Why not? Jasmine Shannon is going to be doing that in a class coming up. And what we'll do is we will sell the class and then we'll let no her smell. film it for, for camera too for you guys. No smell. All right. Let me see what I missed. She said no smell. I'm trying to grab a fresh. I don't smell anything. You see all that? You see what everybody's saying? No. What are they saying? Oh, big faces. Do you know how to switch to big faces? Well, if I go... It should say up there, big faces. Um... <laughs> did you do it? I did. Good job. I did. I'm a pro. There was something else I was going to answer, but I don't see it. I mean, if you just got it, it could have picked up a smell in transit because it's paper it can do that i would just lay it out it'll air out and take on a new smell mm, don't be afraid of decorating do this for me anytime you're afraid of something this is i want to do a video on this anytime you're afraid to do something do it with some junk paper first just do it it's take that pressure off of yourself because what happens is, and I, let me, I'll give you a little bit of behind the scenes real quick, and then I'm going to tell you the Wayne, the Wayne story, and then we're going to go because it's 3.15. I used to be intimidated by folios. I would look at people's folios and be like, I do not know how they're making this flap and fold and blah, 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 because folios especially, more than albums, blend into themselves, you know? Like there's no way to look at it and kind of break it apart without taking it apart, right? And the album is different. It's pretty much a spine and whatever they add to the page. So I could do albums all the time. Well, for some reason, a folio just clicked with me one day and I made that first one. And then I was like, without instructions, you know what I'm saying? Now I could follow instructions all these years. I've done that. But I was like, that just worked. I was like, Shannon, look, this is cool. Yep. And then we just, we just fed off of that idea. But I'm going to tell you something. We made it with like chartreuse and chartreuse green. Do you remember our first one? What colors was that one? We used, here's what I do. I have these paper packs that come in these multicolor packs and there are certain colors that I don't craft with. Hot pink, chartreuse, um, mustard. There's just colors I don't really craft with. So I use those to make my firsts and then my second ones are easier. And also for decorating, take the pressure off. Decorate it till you like it. Do not think to yourself, well, Maymay would have done this and Maymay would have done that or, or this crafter would have added this and this crafter would have added that. You'll get there. 
start somewhere. If y'all want to see that in action, Shannon. She's such a good example of it because when Shannon first started making cards and stuff, samples and tags, they were extremely simple. She didn't know anything else. She was doing what she knew, right? But did you guys see her sample from yesterday, from the reveal? It's my favorite. I mean, that was beautiful, and she's really coming into her own. Just don't stress about it. I promise you, if you made something super simple and showed it to your friend, they would be like, you made this? No one's going to be like, mm, I've seen better. And if they do, what do you do? You don't show them next time. You pick somebody else. <laughs> if it does say coming soon, it is sold out. Yeah, yes, it's true. Sorry. Impressables are there. Um, it's not spelled impressionable. Um, I'm pretty sure they have a tab under... Um, shop. Let's see. While you're looking for that, does the Folio Shannon put together today go into another book? It can. It can be a standalone or those hardback 49 and market like flippy foldy dudes. It can also be glued into there as an element. If you want to see that done, it's what I did in the um, Downton Abbey album. So you can see how that works there. So it can be alone or it can go into something else. Um, impressables are stamp positioners. It's under the um, sale drop down that I showed you a minute ago. Um, it's stamp positioners and M, and it's capital M apostrophe. Uh, yep, Tamitha just put the link in. Impressables. Your lemon card was gorgeous. Thank y'all. Are you going to show the July fun. stamp set for the Heart Scripture Club? All um, Scripture Club releases are the 21st of every month. So here's how that works. Regular Club releases at, at 3 p.m. on the 6th of every month. Scripture releases on the 21st at 6 p.m. Uh, at 3 p.m. See, my times. 21st at 3 p.m. of every month. Those always are the same. Um, okay, I'm going to tell you the Dwayne story, and then we're going to pray, and we're going to head out. We've, we've been here longer than we're supposed to. All right. Um, when we were young, is he still here? If y'all don't mind, any questions that come in now, just type the answer So, because it, it will be here a long time if we don't, but that way they can know their answers. Um, when we were young, and I mean like 12, maybe 12. Dwayne, maybe old, maybe younger than that because he was a little bee dude. Um, he got a BB gun for Christmas. And he was sitting downstairs in, our, in his basement, okay? And their basement was cinder block walls. Back in the day when they did cinder block, I don't know if they, I think they still do cinder block, but it was cinder block and you could just see it. Well, his brilliant little mind put a dartboard. It's a two-car garage, okay? He's sitting on this wall across two car spaces that had no cars in it. He put a dartboard on the other side of the room and he was shooting at it with his BB gun. Well, when he would do that, some of the BBs would miss and they would hit the concrete and when they'd hit that cinder block they'd come flying back and forth well it scared me i was always the mama okay he'll tell you i was always the mama he was always the getting in trouble get in trouble whatever but i was always the mama so i'm like Dwayne, stop doing that you're gonna shoot your eye out i literally said you're gonna shoot your eye out stop doing that and he's like oh is it scare you and then he would just like pump that that little pump thing up more and more and more well i said to him <laughs> stop Dwayne or I'm going to tell. That was always how our conversations went. At some point it was stop or I'm going to tell. And actually I called him Wayney. I didn't call him Dwayne. I said, stop Wayney, I'm going to tell. And he was like, oh really? Like seriously, look, like nine, eight years. I don't know how old we were. Oh really? I said, yes, if you keep doing it, I'm going to tell. He said, um, I'm gonna make you dance. And I said, what? And he said, I'm gonna shoot your feet, dance. You remember how people go dance and they point the, gun, the little thing down to your feet? So I'm like, you will not. And as he's telling me, dance. And I'm not dancing because I'm not going to do what he's telling me to do. He's pumping that little thing up. It was like one of those air pump ones. <laughs> to the point that he has to literally push it down with like his foot. That's how many times he was doing that little pump thing. I was like, you're not going to shoot me. And I want y'all to know, he shot me in the foot. And there was two issues with that. Number one, it hurt like nobody's business. Number two, it was my brand new shoes. I hadn't even had them like two days. He shot me in the side of my shoe. As I'm running up the stairs to tell, he's still shooting my feet as I'm going up the stairs. <laughs> it was not funny. He thinks it was funny. What kids do, right? What kids do? That is nothing. That is like 
none of the stories with Dwayne. None. Wow, Rita said her sister still has a BB in her chin from about 1974-ish. <gasps> Mama never found out. Oh, no. Uncle Wayne found out. Uncle Wayne knew. I went upstairs real loud and in charge and let Uncle Wayne know that he had just shot me in the feet. I was not playing. I was so mad at him. All I was trying to do was keep him having his both eyeballs for the rest of his life. And then they also um, shot out our um, neighbor friend's bathroom window with the BB gun. <laughs> I have so many BB gun stories, right? Okay, I do want to address this real quick because I did see it mentioned a couple times. Somebody want me to explain the card ministry. You want to explain it? Well, I, I told the one to email Amber and she could give her all the details of what she needed. You basically... As far as what we just yeah. accept cards okay they can be any kind of card we prefer things that are less specific we prefer like thinking of you praying for you stuff like that um, and you just mail them to us and whatever quantity you want to mail them to us or if you need cards you can ask us for cards and we'll send you cards that you can send out so it's really it's real simple um, not a whole lot of guidelines for it oh I didn't get nothing new out of it nothing where's he at I'll let him have his two seconds I hadn't seen him. Did we block him already? <laughs> oh, there he is. It was funny and fun. It was not funny, and it was not fun. See, that's how Wayne always was. Always when we were little, oh, it was funny. No, it wasn't. You weren't on this end. Always. Everything we did. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. I'll bring you a BB gun when you come. One time, I don't want to tell you all these Dwayne stories. I'll bring you a BB gun when you come. <laughs> One time. He always felt bad when I really did get hurt over something stupid he made me do. Honestly, he did. So he decided one day he was going to scare me. And where we used to live, and some of you guys are going to know about this place. There was a place called Thompson Manor. It was a house that was, the folklore behind it was that the house burned down. Obviously, some people died in it. Like, somebody had to die in it, right? Probably they didn't. Okay. But the children all helped told the story. And what it was, was the lot where it used to be, the foundation, the concrete foundation was still there. The porch was still there. So folklore was the rocking chairs are still on the porch and they rock at night. I never saw a rocking chair, but it was a scary place. And they had like a cellar, like a, it was, it was like a storm shelter and it was out in the back. So Dwayne's like, come on, we're going to Thompson Manor. And I was terrified. And it was, it was right by our neighborhood. Like it was down a dirt road by our neighborhood. So I'm like, I'm not going. And I could say I'm not going all I want, but I'm peddling right behind him because I'm going with him. I'm not going. Yes, you are. Come on. I'm not going. Yes, you are. Come on. So I'm like, don't leave me because he would leave me in a second all by myself anywhere. We get to Thompson Manor and he's like, this is not so scary. And he's walking around, blah, blah. Well, he gets to that storm shelter, which I didn't know existed. And it was in the ground. So you couldn't see it. He gets to that storm shelter. And he goes, look at this. This is so cool. I'm going in it. I'm like, don't go in there. I'm like begging him, please don't go in there. Don't go in there because he's going to make me go in there or I'm going to have to be by myself out there in the haunted ground, right? I'm begging him not to go in. He's going down the stairs and as he goes, he gets quieter and quieter down the stairs because he's going into this thing. He's in there going, this is so cool. I cannot believe this. And all of a sudden he starts to scream like something is coming at him. I mean, scream to the top of his lungs. He comes running up out of that cellar, gets on his bike and pedals 90 miles an hour home. I am chasing and I cannot chase. Okay. I have always been the big girl. I have never been athletic. I am on a banana seat bike. Like, it's just the worst, right? I am trying to keep up with him going home. Well, here's what happens. He gets way ahead of me on the way down the hill. My foot slips off the pedal. You know what happens? Pedal hits me in the back of the leg. Okay. Just feels like a whack. I don't think I'm cut or anything. So I'm like, Dwayne, 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 trying to get him to stop and come back. So I get off and I'm not looking at my leg. I don't think anything's wrong with it. It just feels like I got whopped. So he comes back and I'm like, I, I fell off my bike or whatever. I don't remember if I fell off or whatever. And he comes up and he's like, you're fine. You're fine. And he looks at my leg. He goes, you're fine. Let's go home. He goes just like that. Let's go home. And I'm like, what is it? He's like, it's nothing. It's not bad, but we need to go see mama. That's what he does. His whole, his whole face changes. So in other words, it's like. Now he feels really bad, bad, right? And I'm like, what is it? What is it? He's like, just get on your bike, pedal home. You are fine. I pedal. We were like maybe eight or 10 houses away. He'll tell me if I'm wrong. We're about eight or 10 houses away. We get back to the house and he gets my mama out there. And sure enough, pretty good, pretty good wound. That's what I'm going to say. Okay. And my mom's like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And Dwayne, his, I mean, he had just changed because he realized I got hurt over that silly prank because he was just pranking me. But he also made sure I was taken care of and got me back home and, and stayed with me. And he was a sweetheart. But 
That was life with Dwayne. And that's not even, the, that's not even the, this much of it with Dwayne. It's like having a brother. All right. Did I tell it right, Wayne? He's going to be like, I did not scare you. Yes, he did. So we're going to have prayer while, while I'm waiting to see if he says I, if I said it right or not. Um, we're going to have prayer together. But I want to tell you this. If you would like to um, have a specific prayer request prayed for, for you or with you, head over to our Facebook group called Created in Christ. We'll put the link in here. I think it's in the description of the video as well. And you can put in your prayer request and we can add you to our prayer list. And if you would like to pray for others or be a part of that group, you can head over there and join that group as well. Um, today when I pray, I'm going to pray for everybody. And, um, and those specific needs we'll pray for over there. So the chat keeps um, locking up, doesn't it? Maybe. That's why we keep getting them like, Nothing yeah, we'll get way. nothing and then everything. That's why we've been kind of all over the place today. All right, he's going to, we're not getting the chat, so we're going to go ahead and have prayer together. Let's pray. God, thank you so much for this day. Thank you that we can come together and just talk about the things that we all love as a group, as a community, and grow closer and closer to each other through laughter, through learning. It's just so much fun. And I'm just so grateful, God, that you gave us this opportunity, that you brought this platform to us and have given us this chance to do this. God, for those that are watching today, they all have a different need. Everybody is going through something, whether it be sickness or something in their family, whatever they're going through, God, you know that need. And today I just pray that the person who has the answer, God, that you will stir to them to speak to the person and let them know what you have for them to know. And what I mean by that, and, I, and you know what I mean, but someone knows how to fix that issue in their life. And God, I just pray you'll stir that person up to um, whoever has the need and help them come to whatever your plan and your desire is for their life. God, if it's a physician, give them a new thought. If it's a job situation, give them a new idea. If it's financial, show them maybe where they, where they didn't see something that they didn't even know existed. But bless them, God, with something you have for them to help in their situation that they're going through. For those that are watching today, you know how much we love them, God. Even the ones that are watching later, you know what they mean to us. We're so grateful. I just ask God that you'll let everybody um, around the whole, wherever they're watching from, know how much we love them. Let them know that they mean more to us than they'll ever imagine. God, we thank you for all the blessings you give to us every single day, every moment of the day, every morning you bless us, every evening you bless us. God, we just thank you for that so much. We ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. He didn't come back, so I must. Oh, he didn't love you he knew he knew look you know why he said love you because it was funny till he remembered <laughs> and then he's like it's all right buddy a scar. i do have a scar have you ever seen it no it's a, I have a scar big old scar all right i love you guys i hope you had a good time we had a good time be sure to check us out again live on tuesday Vinny would ask that you give this video a like he wasn't in here to ask you guys that but he would ask that you would if you need to find us, info at maymaymadeit.com or our phone numbers and information are on our website. You can get us there. And I don't know if Shannon knows how to cut this thing off. Do you know how to do it? Start um, over here. Here and then go to there. She's going to say bye to y'all. We'll see you next time. See you later.